In this video, we will talk about Comparative Genome Hybridization Comparative Genome Hybridization, as name indicates. We will compare genomes through hybridization, normal genome, and other is tumor or diseased genome. Both genomes are from same organism. So, the conclusion, in other words, is that comparative genome hybridization can be used to detect deletions or duplications. It is based on making test DNA and control DNA compete at hybridizing. To the same target aim of this type of hybridization is to find what type of change has been occurred in diseased genome. Let's understand the steps of comparative genome hybridization. We have normal nucleus with chromosomes. And this is diseased nucleus with chromosomes. We will extract out these chromosomes. Both cells are metaphysic. Now after denaturation, we will get single stand of genome after this. We will add fluorescent dye in normal one. We add blue fluorescent probe, but in diseased, we add red fluorescent probe. We will mix both. We will get hybridization of genome. Now we need a fluorescent detector to compare the intensity of fluorescence. Now let's move into details to understand it further. A graph is plotted. Let's make it more simple for you. Three lines are plotted. A central line and blue line indicates towards normal genome and red line indicates towards diseased genome. Suppose both the genes were normal, having no disease, means no deletion and duplication. So the ratio will be one ratio one. It will be indicated by central line, showing one ratio one if there was duplication. That caused the development of this diseased germ. The plot will be then plotted this way, indicating a duplication in diseased genome. Hello, I am Dr. Jude. Sorry for the interruption. I will continue the topic. But if there was deletion, that caused the development of this diseased genome. The plot will be then plotted this way, indicating a deletion in diseased genome. This technique is extremely useful in detecting the deletion and duplication. So, this was all. But, before ending this video, we will talk about the indications for chromosome analysis. So, the situations in which cytogenetic investigation is advised are suspected chromosome abnormality, multiple congenital anomalies, and developmental retardation, disorders of sexual function, undiagnosed intellectual disability, certain malignancies, infertility or multiple miscarriage, and stillbirth and neonatal death. If you want to know more details about chromosome analysis, do watch our video on chromosome structural abnormalities. So this was all. Thank you for learning. Join us again. Watch our medical videos anytime and anywhere. Download Scotia.com app now.